What's up guys, the Pikawoo here, bringing you another Wi-Fi battle. This one was a really, really good underused tier battle against JHEG. Unfortunately, he does not have a YouTube account, so I can't put a link in the description. But stay tuned for this battle because it was really epic and there was a lot of prediction going on, as well as many great plays throughout the battle. On, now on the side note, I have a question to ask you, it's really important. I have pretty much run out of Pokemon music to put in my battles, so do you guys want music or no music? I actually have a couple of options that I can't decide on. The first is just to repeat some of the past Pokemon music and put them on my recent videos. The second option is to um, have no music at all. And the third music is that I have hours of epic trailer music, similar to the music in episodes 50 and 55. And I can use that instead of Pokemon music. So um, it would be really appreciated if you guys can leave a comment on uh, what you guys would prefer. And enjoy the battle. Okay guys, so I'm leading off with the Toxic Croak, and this is my custom anti-lead set. Now as you can see, it does carry the Protect, and I do that to scout whether he is going to go for the attack or Trick. Seeing that he tricks, he probably has choice specs, and I have nothing to take the trick well. So I go into the Blaziken to swap my choice scarf with the choice specs. Now I go for the superpower, and he goes into a Slowbro, which is a really great play on his part, because Slowbro resists the dual stab, um, fire, and fighting that my Blaziken carries. And because I'm locked into the fighting type move, I have to switch out, and I decide to go into Claydol because um, Slowbros can sometimes carry status moves such as Toxic or T-Wave, and I don't really mind Claydol getting status at all, but instead, this Slowbro is actually a Calm Minder, and that's not really a big deal because I can live a Surf easily and also get my uh, Stealth Rocks up at the same time. And I do live with Yellow Health, and because I am at such low health here, I'm predicting my opponent to predict my Explosion, and switch into a ghost type Pokemon, so I go for the Shadow Ball, which would deal super effective damage to a ghost type that switches in, as well as a Slowbro. And my opponent does indeed uh, predict the explosion and goes for the Slack Off, which isn't too bad. And um, I go for the explosion here, thinking that my opponent would just want to finish me off, maybe thinking I don't have explosion. And that is really great because he does go for the Surf, and that will deal around half to the Slowbro. And um, I go for the Skeptile here because um, it does scare out the Slowbro with the Leaf Storm. And I am going to go for the Safe Leaf Storm because it will deal a lot of damage to anything that switches in. And he does um, decide to switch into an Entei which will deal a lot of damage from the Stealth Rocks and from the Leaf Storm. And at this point, um, I can go for the Rock Slide and KO the Entei. And indeed, my Skeptile is a mixed attacker. And I do that because it will be able to counter fire type switch ins such as this Entei. And now he goes into this Alakazam, and I don't really know if he wants to go for the Trick, Psychic, or Signal Beam. And I'm hoping he would go for either the Trick or Signal Beam against this uh, Blaziken. And I go for the Thunder Punch here, but he makes a really great play and go into Gastrodon because Gastrodon fully resists the electric move. And I go into the Melotic here, predicting him to go for the Surf or Earthquake, and I can tank both of those attacks, as well as deal damage back by hitting him with the Toxic, but um, yet again, he does go into uh, Venusaur, which is another great play, and um, Venusaur is possibly one of the best counters to my Lotic in the UU tier, and I see that I get leftover recovery before the Venusaur, which means I'm faster, and this Venusaur is probably a bulky set, and probably does carry the Sleep Powder, and I can go into my Registeel, because my Registeel does carry the sleep talk and after seeing that I am a sleep talker the Venusaur is probably going to switch out because um, he can't really do much to my uh, Registeel because I resist both of his stab moves uh, uh, grass and poison and um, I'm going to decide to pull off a double switch predicting the slow bro to come in and abuse my sleeping Registeel and possibly go for the slack off so I go into my Skeptile to counter the uh, slow bro but he actually goes into a Gastrodon which is just as good and um, I, I'm going to go for the HP Psychic here because I'm pretty sure he's going to go back into the Venusaur predicting the Leaf, leaf Storm once again. And that's going to deal a lot, but it isn't quite a 2-hit KO, so I don't want to risk it. And I'm going to go into my Blaziken because I can take both the Sludge Bomb as well as the HP Fire. And um, not wanting to over predict, I am going to go for the Flare Blitz here. And unfortunately, he does get the Poison Hacks, and that is going to um, hurt me in the long run because that will take down my Blaziken, as you will see. Um, I go for the Flare Blitz here, and after the Recoil, I will be able to survive, but die to the Poison. And um, yeah, that kind of sucks because I needed my Blaziken later, as you'll see. 
And um, now it's a double down, and we both go back into our leads. And um, I'm gonna go for the protect once more, just to scout if he will attack or go for this uh, or go for the trick once more. And he goes for the psychic, and I really don't want to go into my registeel because he might pull off a double switch and go into his slow bro and start setting up, and that's not good. So I let my toxic croak take the psychic because I do have the focus sash and um, counter with a Stone Age, which will finish off the Alakazam at that point. Now he goes into a Slowbro, and I do pack the Taunt on my Toxic Croak, and um, that works out amazing, because he does go for the non-attacking move, and um, I'm going to leave my Toxic Croak here as Death Fodder, because I want to see Slowbro's last move, if it is Psychic, and um, he does reveal that it is Psychic, and I go for the Stone Age, which does a decent amount of damage, concerning that Slowbro, that Slowbro is probably max HP and max attack. Now I go into my Skeptile to uh, scare off the Slowbro and see what his last Pokemon is. And unfortunately for me, this last Pokemon is the, a Registeel. And Registeel is going to be a really big pain in the butt because I don't have my Blaziken to counter this Registeel anymore. And um, I'm predicting the Thunder Wave here because most Registeels do carry Thunder Wave. And I go into my Melotic just to get my Marvel Scale boost. And um, I go for the Toxic here, predicting the switch, because Registeel can't do much to my Lotic. And that was a really great play, because I am going to be able to get this Gastrodon poisoned. And my plan here is to get both of his bulky water Pokemon, Gastrodon, as well as his Slowbro poisoned. So eventually, they will be able to be taken down by Poison uh, Recoil. And... Um, um, all he has left is his three uh, bulky Pokemon. He doesn't really have a Sweeper. Um, because, well, he does have the Slowbro, but, um, it's pretty much gonna be, uh, taken down by Poison. If I do get a Toxic pulled off onto the Slowbro, I go for the Surf here, and it doesn't quite KO the Slowbro. And because I am paralyzed, he is gonna be faster, and will be able to pull off a Slack off. Um, in the long run, that's not gonna be a big deal, because I do pack the Toxic, and once I get the Toxic off, um, the Slowbro won't be able to set up many Calm Mimes. And I do have the Milotic as well as a Registeel to counter this um, Slowbro completely. And because uh, I will eventually be able to take down his Slowbro and Gastrodon from Poison, and I do have a, uh, a Slick Eptile with Focus Blast, I will eventually be able to uh, take down all three of his Pokemon, although it wouldn't be that easy to take them down. But um, he will uh, eventually run, saving some time because um, if he, we did continue this battle, it will um, eventually um, lead to a really big stall war. So, getting my opponent's uh, Pokemon poisoned will pretty much seal the deal um, for me, and I will be able to eventually win the match. And um, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Make sure you uh, guys like, comment, and favorite this battle if you guys enjoyed and that will definitely um, help me out because it will spread this battle around um, around to other Pokemon viewers and to this YouTube community and um, I'll catch you guys later um, you guys can leave because there really much there really isn't that much here at this point because it is a pretty much a big stall war and um, peace out guys